Get a better broadcast, podcast and voice over voice. And today got a bit of a treat uh, from me to you or really from you to you, because we're going to talk through how to give yourself a self massage. Yeah, around your head and throat and shoulder and chest area just to help you relax. It's something really useful to know. It's something which is going to help you kind of de-stress, get rid of some tension, help you relax. Yeah, all of this will help you get a better broadcast, podcast and voice over voice. We're starting a new chapter, a new series of uh, of, of essays, of lessons, of, 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 of episodes, whatever you want to call them tomorrow. So it seemed a really good time to say well done. Congratulations for listening all the way through so far. And um, just just take a bit of time out. And uh, I'm going to go through five tips to help you self-massage. First, put your first and forefinger on each hand together. And then gently at first, and then with stronger pressure, stroke by stroke, draw your double fingers in a diagonal line down the side of your neck, from just behind your ear, across to where your throat starts, just short of your Adam's apple larynx area. This massages the large sternocleidomastoid muscles which support, turn and nod the head. So again, put your first and forefinger together on each hand and then draw them in a diagonal line down the side of your neck from just behind your ear down across to where your throat starts. Now place one palm on top of the back of your other hand and rotate them slightly to form a diagonal, yeah? And place them high up on your chest, just under your throat. Press and pull down, not actually hard enough to move your hands, keep them in position, but pull down on on your skin, as it were. Tip your head back, face the ceiling for a second or two, and then open and close your mouth to stretch the muscles down the front of the neck. Now this one may make you a little bit squeamish, so do it gently if you want to do it at all. Take your two forefingers and your thumb, as though you're about to pick something up from your desk, but instead carefully hold your larynx and move it very gently, very slowly, very carefully from side to side. You may feel a click or two, it's quite normal. Now, use your thumbs and possibly a picture that you could have got off the internet to locate the root of your tongue outside your face, outside your body, so underneath your chin. Use your both of your thumbs and just massage that area. So essentially it's under your chin, it's before your neck starts, certainly before your Adam's apple. Massage that area with both your thumbs for 30 seconds. And finally, use your fingertips on the side of your face, just above your cheeks, in front of your ears, where your two jaws meet. Bite down and you'll feel the bump of a muscle at that joint point. Gently apply pressure there. Massage for about 30 seconds to release any tension that you're holding in your jaw. And that is today's episode of Get A Better Broadcast, podcast and voice over voice. Well, hopefully you found that really relaxing and it's something that you can refer back to. If you feel yourself getting a little bit tense, if you just have five minutes in a studio between songs or between takes, you can just do some of these exercises just to relax you and kind of draw away any tension from your facial area. 
Tomorrow, as I say, we start a whole new series of episodes looking at confidence. What is it? How can you get it? And what happens if it disappears just at the start of a brand new gig? What about mic fright? What can you learn from it? How can you avoid it? What should you not do to cover it up? That's in a whole new series of episodes as Get A Better Broadcast podcast and Voice Over Voice continues tomorrow from London. I'm Peter Stewart.